Designing a portfolio to counter inflation is really not that hard. I'm a big fan of a fixed asset allocation rebalance periodically. This forces you to continually buy low and sell high as you rebalance and doesn't require a functioning crystal ball to be successful. Uh, you don't want to have to be able to predict the future in order to reach your financial goals. You need a portfolio that's going to beat them in a wide variety of future economic scenarios. My own inflation-busting portfolio consists of 60% stocks, 20% real estate, and 20% bonds. Uh, the stocks, as a general rule, will keep up with inflation uh, or even or generally exceed inflation uh, because they can raise the prices of their goods and services as inflation goes up. Uh, real estate is also particularly good at combating inflation. Uh, not only does it involve usually fixed, low interest rate, non-callable long-term debt that benefits from inflation, but it also is a hard asset. It tends to go up with inflation. And of course, rents, the income from real estate, can be increased with inflation as well. Uh, even within bonds, there are some bonds, such as I-bonds and TIPS, that can help to combat inflation because they're indexed to inflation. For example, in 2021, inflation went up significantly. And guess which bonds are the best bonds to own right now? Uh, as I record this in October or November of 2021, uh, I-bonds bought in 2000 are paying almost 11%. And I-bonds bought within just the last few months are actually paying 7%, which is awfully good for a bond. Uh, tips are also outperforming nominal bonds this year as well. So you can put some or even all of your bond allocation into inflation index bonds and help protect against inflation. You can also keep the duration of your nominal fixed income investment short. And theoretically, the way that inflation is combated by governments is by raising interest rates. And so the shorter your fixed income investments, uh, the quicker you can take advantage of increased rates. Some people like to use other um, assets to help protect against inflation, to hedge against inflation. These can include commodities, precious metals, currencies, and even cryptocurrencies. How they work is not always clear, uh, but as a general rule, they tend to do better in an inflationary environment than a long-term treasury might. Um, so you may consider adding a small slice of those to your portfolio. Although I don't have any in my portfolio, I think it's completely reasonable to have 5% uh, approximately in those sorts of assets in your portfolio to help hedge against inflation. And perhaps one of the best hedges against inflation is debt. If you have low interest rate debt, especially long-term fixed rate debt, uh, that only benefits from inflation. Inflation is at 5% and your debt is at 2%, you're actually getting paid 3% to borrow that money. These are all great ways to hedge against inflation. Um, since it is one of the major risks to your portfolio, it's a good idea to hedge against inflation uh, with at least a significant portion of your portfolio. My dad, your host, Dr. Dahl, is a practicing emergency physician, blogger, author, and podcaster. He is not a licensed accountant, attorney, or financial advisor. So this podcast is for your entertainment and information only and should not be considered official personalized financial advice.